Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute flowers using Rangers, Claudine Helmets, Studio Sticky Back Canvas, and Fiskars Ultra Shape Express Cutter and the Tag Template. To start off, you will need Fiskars Ultra Shape Express Cutter, the Tag Template, a self-healing mat, Fiskars Large Round and Round Circle Punch, some Claudine Helmet Studio Sticky Back Canvas that's already been decorated. Ink Essentials Wonder Tape Sheets. Tim Holtz Tonic Craft Pick. A Rub It Scrub It Pad to use as a mat for your craft pick. A large brad. A piece of coordinating cardstock that matches your painted sticky back. Some glue dots and these are pop-up glue dots and of course we're going to be working on the nonstick craft sheet it's in the background here so let's get to it step one decorate the sticky back canvas by painting it stamping it inking it or a combination of those here I primed it with white paint stamped and embossed it with black UD and then painted it with Claudine Helmet Studio paint in altered orange modern red and a little bit of blank canvas or these splotchy parts right here. You can even use leftover scraps from other projects you made with your sticky back canvas. Visit my blog pattybehan.blogspot.com to watch a tutorial on UD Resist backgrounds with Claudine Helmet Studio Paint and learn how to do this step by step. Step 2. Start with the fresh blade in your Ultra Shape Express Cutter. Place the sticky back canvas colored side up on the self healing mat and then use the tag template and the cutter to cut out six circles for your flower petals. You will notice that there's three different circles on this template but I'm going to cut out the biggest circle because it's easiest to show you using that size. So what you do is you put your blade towards the edge of the template and then you just cut out six circles and you want to try to cut out some blank pieces and some pieces that has the embossing on it step three punch out a circle from the orange cardstock to be used as the base of the flower. When you make your own flower, you will want to use a coordinating color for your project. This usually will get fully covered, but just in case it ends up peeking through, you will want to have something that matches your project. Next thing we're going to do is remove the protective liner from the Wonder Tape and adhere it to the circle. and then you're going to remove the protective liner from the top take your rub it scrub it pad place that on top of it and then poke a hole in the center with your craft pick like so and then we're going to put this back down onto the craft sheet and then you're going to start to apply your petals and what you do is you take it and you fold the bottom ends of each petal oh it's about like a sixteenth of an inch so it forms like a little bit of a cone shape make a nice crease and then remove the protective paper from the back and then place the petal onto the circle by the center of the circle where you put the hole. I don't know if you can see that. Like so. And then you're going to repeat the same thing for the next petal. And now you might want to take um, one that, since this has more um, 
color on it. I'm going to take one that has a little, that doesn't have the black showing. And then you're going to fold it and then you're going to attach it to the other petal. And don't press these all the way down onto the circle because you may have to adjust. And then you're going to repeat it for each petal. Fold the ends, give it a crease, remove the paper, place it towards the center, and then stick it to the next petal working clockwise, like so. And you can do all kinds of fun stuff with these flowers. I took the paper off first, but it's best to leave the paper on if, if you can because the more you touch it, the less sticky it becomes. Okay. Paper. And then to get your last petal on there, you may have to adjust it a little bit. Stick it on like so. can curl the petals up a little bit and you work with it until it looks like a flower. Like that. Step five. Now here comes the fun part. This is where you add the center to the flower. You can use brads, buttons, crystals, punch shapes. The possibilities are endless. Here I'm going to use a giant brad and since the prongs aren't long enough to go through the flower all the way, I'm going to bend the prongs flat like so and attach it with some pop-up glue dots. So I'm going to add two glue dots to the center. And then just attach it that way. And that's it. You have an adorable flower that is ready to be added to your next project. Now let me show you how this looks on some finished projects. For this I used the tag template and I cut out the tag and added my flower here and I used the medium sized circle for that one. Next I put the small size on a card and then this is what the big flower looks like on a card. So as you can see you can have a lot of fun with this technique and I hope you'll give it a try and happy crafting! Thanks for watching!